What is going on everyone? Chanel Tarell bringing you the APA Season 7 Week 4 Battle versus Coach Matt Archer and the Tennessee Trevenants. Coming into Week 4, we did get that nice win against Coach Phantom last week. And since then, we did make a lot of free agents and a trade. So make sure to check out the video that I uploaded for that explaining it all. Um, we are in fact bringing four of those new Pokemon. So <laughs> make sure to see what I dropped and what, and, uh, what I picked up because of it. And um, I'm just going to go right into the team build for this week. Um, this team build wasn't actually that hard. Um, once again, I have a possible sweeping Mega Blaziken because Mega Blaziken can always put in work as long as it gets that just the right chance in order to sweep. Um, quickly though, I have to go over Matt Archer's roster. So um, Archer's roster consists of Greninja Protein, the Protein ability Greninja, uh, Clefable, Tangrowth, Rotom Heat, Mega Steelix, Haxorus, Seismitoad, Drapion, Espeon, Hitmonlee, and Minior. And um, on the screen, you can see I'm predicting the Protein Greninja, Mega Steelix, Clefable, Rotom Heat, Seismitoad, and Espeon. Possible switch outs would be um, probably just Espeon. I'm really expecting those other five. Um, it'd be more of a defensive option um, with Mega Steelix, Clefable, and Seismitoad. And then um, he'd have like Scarf, Rotom Heat, probably, or Specs, considering he does outspeed um, my defense, my defensive Pokemon besides Roserade. And um, he does under speed Garchomp though, um, and then the Espeon's kind of just a fill in since he is only hazard removal is um, Spin Hitmonlee, and then he has Magic Bounce Espeon. So I just have Espeon for Magic Bounce. Also, it's possible Scarfer just to get an outspeed off plays again off of plus one. It could be a trick, and the Magic Bounce is just always helpful. It could be a bulky Espeon too. I don't know, but um, now to go over my team build, it's uh. Mega Blaziken with Home Claw Substitute, High Jump Click Flare Blitz, Adamant Nature, we get just enough speed to outspeed Rotom Heat um, by one point, which is very helpful. And it can just basically put in work late game, hopefully, or it can um, do work mid game. It just depends on the best time for me to set up is, whether that's with the substitute or just with the Home Claws. Just need to be careful with that. Um, I didn't really do any calcs because Mega Blaziken really just two shots everything already. Um, Two shots, defensive Clefable with Flare Blitz and stuff. Um, the only exception is uh, Mega Steelix. We need to weaken that. Because even if it doesn't have any defense investment, it can eat. It's a three hit for high jump kick, which is kind of ri ridiculous. And now we have uh, Ro Rosalina or Cresselia here with uh, leftovers. We have Moonlight, Moonblast, Calm Mind, Hidden Power, Water. Um, this can do a little bit of sweeping. We have the uh, Moonlight, of course, to get up our health after we get set up with that Calm Mind. Um, we got Moonblast in order to hit stuff like the Greninja and uh, the Drapion. And then we have Hidden Power Water, just so I'm capable of hitting the um, Mega Steelix and the Rotom Heat, which is not which um, Moonblast is not very effective against. So, there's a little possible setup there. I was just considering like a bulky um, Screens Cresselia, but I'm like... I want to go for possible Calm Mind Sweep with Crest, so I feel like it will do work. It uh, mainly has to wait for Greninja to go down. I can't hard switch Crest for Greninja, but it can take on the rest of his team pretty nicely. And next up we have Empoleon. I have HP, max special attack with some speed, just enough speed to outspeed Seismitoad. Um, with the Shuckaberry, Scald, Ice Beam, Grass, not Stealth Rock. This does a lot to his team. Shuckaberry is because he's got a lot of ground coverage. Um, this thing can basically wall Greninja Protein. Um, we'll take a little decent from, you know, like Dark Pulse and stuff like that because um, I'm not fully SPDF invested, but um, it can take it on pretty well. Stealth Rocks can be helpful because he you know, does only have that Magic Bounce Espeon and Spin Hitmonlee. And um, Hitmonlee just does nothing against, this is what I wanted to point out, Hitmonlee does nothing against Crest or um, Florges basically. I mean, he's getting Knock Off and Poison Jab, but still, it's not going to be doing too much. And then um, you got Espeon, which gets balled by <laughs> Cresselia and Florges basically besides size shock for Florges. So basically hazards are kind of looking important in this game. Um Empoleon is definitely gonna be helpful because the shuck is just for ground coverage and like Drapion, the Mega Steelix, stuff like that. Next up we have a Scarf Rose Raid. This is just basically to lead off and catch off anything like if he leads um the protein Greninja. Um Sludge Bomb, Giga Drain, Spikes, hit power ground. Sludge Bomb, Giga Drain, you know, just strong stabs. We got spikes because I want those hazards even though we are scarf. And then lastly, we have Hidden Power Ground in order to hit the Drapion and the Mega Steelix. <clears throat> and then we have Floor just here, defensive with a little spadef and a little speed. Um, Moonblast, Wish Protect, Psychic with the Kibaya Berry. This is to um, weaken a super effective poison type 
move. Um, whether this be Drapion or like Tangrowth with Sludge Bomb or Poison Jab, um, or mainly the Greninja with um, Gunk Shot. Moonblast, Wish Protect. Um, Moonblast, of course, for the stab, Wish Protect for the health and whatnot. Psychic is so if I predict the Greninja going for Gunk Shot on Florgis, since Florgis is an amazing switch into Greninja, then I can um, easily just go for the uh, Psychic the following turn if I'm predicting that, and that will KO the Greninja. And then lastly, we have a setup Garchomp because I didn't know what else to bring. I wanted to bring a um, Toxic Stall at Piplup, but I found out that Endure Protect is not a legit set because they run on the same counter, so if I use Protect, Endure only has a 50% chance to work the following turn, which makes sense because that thing would be abused otherwise. Um, we got Swords Dance, Earthquake, Outrage, Poison Jab. Um, I was, uh, do I want to run Outrage or Shadow or Dragon Claw? Um, I really don't want to be stuck in if Clefable is still alive, nor if Steelix is there. So I'm going to make this Dragon Claw really quick. And there we go. That's basically the team. And I am going to start this quickly with Archer. Just going to copy this real quick because it's not on my calc. And, oop. What? Oh, that's an anything goes. What? Okay. No, what? Please stop. Show all teams. Yep, and we got that. Um, I need to copy this into calc. Imported five sets. What set did not import? What? No, they're all there. Whatever. Stupid calc. Okay, did he send the link? He did not send the link. I'll do that really quick. And then... Okay, so he brought... Oh, he didn't bring the Mega Steelix! Ooh! And he brought him on Lee. Okay, so hazards I'm not really going to aim for right now. Um... Right now, I don't know what I want to lead. Um, good luck, have fun, nice L. I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, okay, I need to change Mega Steelix to Minior. And what else? He, he didn't bring Rotom Heat, okay. So Mega Steelix, we'll change that to Minior. Oh, yeah, it's just just terrible job of centering sometimes. Okay, and then Rotom Heat, blah, 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 blah. Browse and make this Hitmonlee. Uh. Okay. So, possible leads for him. Um, His team's actually very weak to Roserade. Um, I have to watch out for that mini because I wasn't actually sure if it was coming. Um, Empoleon can actually take it on pretty well, because I do have that Shukka. Might have to keep Empoleon Shukka in the back for that. Um, I have to watch out for a possible Hitmonlee sweep. Or is that Scarf Hitmonlee with Reckless, with Rapid Spin? So he's got Magic Bounce and possible Rapid Spin, so I'm not really going to lead a Hazard. Um, his best lead might just be Clef or Seismitude. Either one's his Rocker. Empoleon's a really safe lead with that. Because I can get a Grass Knot off on Seismitoad. Or might figure that I'm going for the possible... Um, crap. The possible Stealth Rock and then go into Espeon. I mean, I really just want to lead Roserade. Because it takes on half of his... It KOs half his team. But if he leads, like, him only, I don't want to show him Scarf yet. The only exception is if he leads Greninja, that's a perfect lead. Greninja, Clef, or Seismitude, which I really feel like is a thing. I might lead off Roserade. He does lead Seismitude. Um, I can freely go for the Giga Drain here. I'm not worried about him going Clef. He might have... I don't see him having the Rindo Berry. He could, though. But he's not going to do anything back if he does have it. Just goes into Hitmonlee. Hmm. I can two-shot him. I don't know what he's going to go for here. He might just go for a fake-out. But I can two-shot. 
He might go for knockoff here, actually, and I kind of want to keep my scarf. I could go hard and make a blaze again. <laughs> as weird as that might sound. I don't know why we go to fake out, though, if he has his unburden right now, though. It's kind of a dumb play. I want to see uh, what kind of him only that, that is, though. I think him only just has that good of special defense, so... Giga Drain. Ah, no. He, he's must, is he an AV set? He is an AV set, and that was a low roll. Okay. So there's a few... Th so he's Rapid Spin AV. He's probably got a High Jump Kick, Knock Off, Rapid Spin, Poison Jab. If that was my guess. Um, My best play here... I re I'm really expecting the... um. Knock off here. Garchomp can wall it, basically. And then I can go freely for a, um, SD if I want. Hmm. I really want to go hard Blaziken and just scare him. Does Blaziken one-shot him only with Flare Blitz? I'm sure. I don't, why is that a question? Him only is not bulky defensively. Blaziken, Adam and Set versus him only. Oh, it's absolute destruction. Okay. Um, I don't know. Because Blaziken can actually sweep. I'm really seeing that knockoff. Him only does get knockoff right I'm not. I'm not insane. I don't know why I'm taking so long for this, but... That's not an item, it's a move. Alright, he does get knock off. He wouldn't go for that jump kick here. He wouldn't go for anything else. He's gotta stay in with him only. I can go ahead and get this thing weak, but I really want to keep my scarf. It's just for the Greninja. But if I just stay in... Hold up, let me, let me actually check how much this knockoff's doing. I don't know why I'm taking so long for this turn. It's doing around 50. Yeah, because he has no switch-ins if I keep the scarf. I'm going hard Mega Blaze again. Oh, got that knockoff prediction. Oh, does he? No, he doesn't outspeed me, right? Oh, no, he actually does. But he can't go for a jump kick or anything because of the possible protect. Do I sub? <laughs> I should have actually checked. Um, He probably outspeeds me here. This was actually a dumb play. Oh, wait, no. Wait, no, yeah, he does. Yeah, no, he outspeeds me right now. He's got to fear the protect. He's got to fear it. Ha! Clef gets two shotted. Even if he goes Seismitoad, it doesn't matter. He will die to a high jump kick the following turn. And if he goes Hitmonlee, that means he has Fake Out. No, he's got Greninja with Water Shuriken. Um, I can just go... Riz right here. And then I can freely go for the, uh, this one million percent kills. He probably just thinks he can go for an ice beam here, but that is not the case, my friend. Nope, he goes him only. We get the outspeed on this thing. Because he is not Scarf. He's definitely AV, unless he's bulky Scarf, which would be weird. Okay, he still doesn't know I'm Scarf. He's got to go SP on here. Or he can go into Minior. No, 
know, does he go for a kill here or does he go for setup? If he goes for setup, that's fine because Pip doesn't Polion live? Oh well, no, it doesn't matter if Polion lives. <laughs> Cresselia can kill it. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for the Giga Drain for damage. He's in shields down. Use White Herb. I can sack Mega Blaziken here. Just to keep Rose Raid in the back. Or I do know he's going for Acrobatics. Let me see how much um, plus two Earth or regular Earthquake from Minior does to Empoleon. Because if he goes for Acrobatics here, then he'll go for Earthquake the following turn, but Empoleon could still eat that. Um, let's see. Napoleon, Daddy Pip versus Minior down 252. They really need to set up as set for Minior down. Um, we have to do plus two. Okay. And then acrobatics. Whoa! Wait. Why does acrobatics do that much? And pulling on your steel type. Um, I can go Empoleon, then go Cresselia, and keep my Shuggaberry for Seismitoad. Actually, no, we can freely click Acrobatics twice against Empoleon. We do not get the outspeed here. <laughs> um, I'll just sack Mega Blaze again, and just go Empoleon right here. EQ will not kill because of the Shaka. Go Seismato, that's fine. He might not have EQ. That'd be weird. Two Grass Knots will kill. Or one. That's weird. Scald kills you. Earthquake won't do anything to me. Pulling on putting in the work. <laughs> Greninja, Dark Pulse probably kills me from here. Okay, so he has Water Shuriken, Dark Pulse, Possible Gunk Shot, Ice Beam. I didn't actually check my Forges against a, um... Wait, why did Forges not get... Whatever. This is a regular defensive support. Like, 32 or something like that in Spadef against a Greninja all oh, attacker let's give him Dark Pulse oh easy eat all right let's see if you have the gunk shot this would be this is about to be really hot it's about to be really hot if he has it if he doesn't, then he goes Espeon, but Espeon can't really do anything to me. Alright, he doesn't have it. Um, I also don't want this to be a Calm Mind Espeon, though. Um... <laughs> So I did go over, right? Like, Panther's like, who's Psychic's at Dark-type, even though I said in the admin chat what I was doing. Um, I predicted the Kunk Shot. That's yeah, not gonna do anything. Oh, but a Spadef drop's gonna be helpful. Espeon can eat a Sludge Bomb from Rose Raid, right? Or no. Um, how much does that do? Wait, let me check Crest first. He did 32, so he's a non-spec, okay, so he's a max 252, so let's check Roserade versus that, 
Sludge Bomb does not kill and Psychic will one shot. Um, I don't really want to Moonlight here. So he might not be a Calm Mindset. He doesn't have Leftovers. I don't want that. Huh. Yeah, I guess that's fair. I could have Moonblasted. Now I just click Moonblast. I don't really know what he's going to go for. He obviously doesn't have the gunk shot. He just goes for Ice Beam. Dude, no, no, stop. <laughs> don't do this. Do not do this. I don't want this to happen, please. Do I wish here? Is that my play? He might predict an Napoleon switch here and go for something else. He might go for deep holes. No, he just goes for ice beam. Please just get... He goes for Dark Pulse here, and that's good for him, I guess, but... Actually, Napoleon will die to a Dark Pulse the following turn. That's a pointless play. <sighs> and Florges dies to Espeon anyways at this point. Um, I can just go for... Giga Drain with Rose Raid and kill. I don't see a problem with that. Let me calc that. Rose Raid. Greninja, all out attacker. If he's an ice type and not water. Okay, we still kill. I mean, I can just go for a Sludge Bomb in case he makes the SP on Switch. If he makes the SP on Switch, he loses. He wouldn't. I don't know why he would make that, anyways. He probably thinks he's fine right here. He made the SP on Switch. Alright. Is he Scarf? Is he Scarf SP on? Hmm. You scarf Espeon, I die. Like, I die a million percent. Yeah. You might be Scarf. Rosary is my main way of no. Rosary is my only way of killing Greninja. I can't risk him being Scarf. I can go Empoleon and just click Grass Knot because if he goes for the Psychic, it's not going to do anything. I have to. I feel like he's Scarf. And then we just let Empoleon go down here. And Rose Raid can pick up the final kill. That was a very basic battle, but it went pretty well. I'll just go for Sludge Bomb, doesn't matter. Oh, that was a very nice battle.
Smooth 3-0, it's fine. I wish I could have done a little bit better, but the Greninja put me in a bad spot. So I had to make some unfortunate plays. That freeze mattered with the differential. I don't know if I could have gotten that 5-0 if he didn't freeze me. But it definitely would have been a little bit better at least. I'm tired of these like low score games because... I mean, my division is tough, dude. I need to get wins, like, with higher differential than this. This isn't, this isn't good enough. I can't stand this. <laughs> but uh, we do face Coach uh, Silver next week against the devastating Kyogre. So make sure to check that out. Sure, Mega Blaze can, uh, can eat a uh, water spout, but, you know, it's what I have to do. Picked up a good amount of kills for the team there. Like, what, Empoleon got two, Grass Knot, and, um, I know Empoleon got three, and Roserade got um, two. Right? Or am I crazy? Wait, I'm pulling out, I'm pulling out three. Seismitoad. Um, Espeon. Minior. <laughs> Clefable died to Mega Blaziken, and then Roserade got him on Lee and um, Greninja. Alright, so that was a sweet battle. That worked out perfectly. My team prep went pretty well. Um, Hazards, we were scared to use, but that's alright, because he didn't have a switch into Roserade, period. So that was awesome. Um, make sure to check out the SDL I already posted for this week, and look forward to next week. Make sure to sub, like, share, deuces.